What's going on guys? Good Monday morning. How's everybody doing? Uh, anyways, first off guys, I got my hat on. I've got my college shirt on. I feel like I look good. So I, of course, in general, feel good. Um, beautiful sunrise coming up over the trees over here. Um, honestly, not feeling the sky back that way though. That is, that is weather that's coming this way. But anyways, I'm over here in David City, Nebraska. And we're about to go pick up my trailer. I drove over here last night. It was that extra hour and a half drive that I said in my last video. And uh, I did that. I'm now over here. So we're gonna go ahead and head over and pick up my trailer. And I know you guys are wondering what the trailer is, but you're going to have to wait until later in the video uh, where you will actually find out what the trailer is. If, if you are one of those few, actually I can't even say one of those few because nobody, not one person actually did this, guys. I'm in Nebraska, which kind of it kind of levels the playing field a little bit there when it comes to trailer dealers out in Nebraska. But nobody, no, nobody up to this point has come forth and said exactly what I'm getting because nobody has really looked at what trailer dealers are out here in Nebraska, uh, especially where I'm at and along the route that I said I was going to be taking. Uh, being out in Omaha and then heading straight west uh, for an hour and a half. Guys, I pretty much gave it away and I did that on purpose in the last video. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and let's go ahead. Let's start this bad boy up and then let's get on the road. Well, update. Paperwork wise, um, I signed my company name and put down the date. So uh, that's it. I think we're gonna, uh, I've gotta go around the other side. And they said just link up to the trailer. So he's gotta find out where the trailer is to give me the exact trailer. Um, and then we'll get all set up and linked up. Other than that, I've got all my stuff here. Um, yeah, let's, let's, let's go around the other side of the building. Okay, so day one, there's a little bit of confusion all over the board. All right, so first off, let's get into the very first part here. The trailer is not brand new. It's a 2017 or a 2018. Um, I believe it's a 17 because the sticker says it was manufactured in 2017. Um, but the company that I am working for, I'm leasing the trailer from them. Um, not working for the company that's doing my brokering. I'm leasing this trailer from them. So it's a pretty good deal there. But like I said, we have a little bit of confusion. So they sent me out here to Columbus, Nebraska. And while I'm out here, I'm supposed to be getting, I guess the trailer DOT brand new tires. Uh, they want like a full walkthrough on everything. Only problem is their computers are down here. Uh, so they don't have any record of the company getting in contact with them. They don't have anything. So we're not sure what to do. So uh, the company that I am uh, getting brokered from, I talked to them. They're sending me out to Omaha. So now I have about a two hour, maybe two and a half hour ride uh, back over to Omaha. And then they will get me out of there. And he said he's got a load for me later this afternoon to pick up. So he wants me to get there as quickly as possible. So it is in a second. Get the other phone. It is 9.51. Um, I think we're in central time. Uh, so let's go ahead. Let's hop in the truck. Let's get over there. Let me give you guys a quick view of the truck. What's going on here. 
And uh, you know what? I'll do a really quick walk around, do a few pictures and stuff, so I can uh, so I can post that. I'll see you guys in a little bit. So all wrapped up here at Cross Dillon. Um, got my receipt here. We're about to jump in the truck. I have to get in touch with Mitchell now and find out where my pickup is. Stay tuned for the rest of the day. What's going on guys, Tuesday morning, we're up, we're moving, and we're on our way over to go make our very first pickup with the brand new trailer. I'm excited. Well ladies and gents, not the, not the first day I was looking to have. Um, not the first day I was looking to have. So if you haven't already seen, I have a hover bottom trailer, and I'm gonna go into uh, what that is and the type of uh, materials that I'll be moving and stuff. I'll go into that stuff in later videos and we'll talk about that. I wanna talk about my really messed up day one, guys. All right, so first off, after you have um, dropped off your load, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to go get a washout ticket. Um, which is basically you getting the inside of the trailer washed out so the next, uh, so there's no like cross contamination um, between the different type of products that you might be moving. Because this is a newer trailer, it's coming strictly, it's coming straight from Tempe. Um, we were told that they weren't requiring, that they weren't going to require a washout ticket and that all I'd need to do is just bring it there so that it's clean and everything would be good. So I showed up 7.15 this morning, sat in line until almost nine o'clock, and then about nine, 9.15 comes by and they tell me, well, we need you to go get a washout ticket. So, route me around the corner, I go get my washout, I get all that done after a, after I got to the washout and I was third in line there. So that took uh, over two hours to get done. Then I get back over and it took me two and a half hours to get loaded. Uh, we're now coming up to around 2.45 is when I finally get off of the lot, guys. I pulled up there at 7.15 in the morning and I'm finally getting out of there at 2.45 in the afternoon. Now I was like, all right, cool, whatever, uh, you know, my day, my ELD says I don't really have much left, but there's nothing I can really do. So let's just take it in stride, go with it, and you know, do whatever we gotta do here. Let me run across the street, trying to grab some food, of course. So I get 155 miles in, and then I get a call from Mitchell, who is the broker who is uh, giving me my jobs and everything. And Mitchell says, so the place that you're going to can't take this product from this distributor. So we're rerouting you back to the distributor where you just spent your entire day. He didn't really throw all that in there, but you know, in my head, this is what I'm thinking. Jesus, I'm gonna spend another day there tomorrow. Here goes my load, now what do I do? So day one has been extremely messed up. Um, I just stopped at a Flying J on the way back over that way to Kansas City. I took a shower. I'm gonna grab some food. Uh, we got a Walmart over here. So I'm gonna go into Walmart because I need to grab some amenities for the truck. Uh, and then after that, um, I'm gonna pull up and I'm just gonna stay right on their lot tonight because I, I don't, beyond, like, I don't even know. It's been a really, really rough day. I'm not having the best day one. Um, of course, it's not as bad as some other people's day ones. Uh, if you guys remember my very first day one when I was in hot shotting, uh, my F-350 went down, so that was that was rough. But day ones are not really working out for me all that well. So anyways, guys, that's what I have for you right now. So let's end this video the right way, guys. Let's do a sunset. <laughs> oh, God, so perfect. All right, check this out. Trailer, truck, everything is beautiful. It's been a bad day, guys. It's been a horrible day. But how can I complain with that sunset? Like, did you see that? <laughs> uh, anyways, this looks great. Check it out. Red truck. Oh, red truck. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. It looks great. I'm back over here in Kansas City now. Got to end this with the sunset. Got to end this with a nice view. This is where I took the pictures. But anyways, guys. All right, really quick, really quick, really 
quick. A few people hinted on this, why I put my license plate here with zip ties rather than down here. I do not have the things that fit in there, the little square things that go in and then you know you screw the thing into the thing, you put the bolt in there. Um, I need to get those. I ordered them. They're probably at home already. I I like to get everything like 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 my girlfriend is really big on Amazon. Um, so she took care of that for me. So whenever I get home, those will be there. Um, anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the truck around the other side of the building, and that's it for today. I'll see you guys manana. Bye.